The word Hamid comes from the word Hamd. The word Hamd has the meaning of praise, but it also has meanings of thankfulness, gratitude and appreciation along with praise. For example, let's say a person graduated school and received an award. I may praise someone like that for achieving something great. However, it doesn't mean that I'm grateful or thankful to them for their achievement. Likewise, let's say a person helped me pick up something heavy. I can be thankful and grateful to that person for helping me, but it doesn't mean that I'm praising them for their assistance. However, the Arabic word hamd has both praise and gratitude in the meaning. When we say alhamdulillah, we are saying all praise and thanks belong to Allah. So, when we say Allah is Al-Hamid, it means He is the one worthy of praise and gratitude. He is the one whom praise belongs to, regardless if a person shows it or not. If someone gives you a gift, you may praise and thank them. Or if someone teaches you something, you praise and thank them. But ultimately, praise and thanks belong to Allah. Why? Because if Allah didn't send that person to teach you, you would not have known. If he did not give them the knowledge, then they would not have been able to pass it on. So in reality, all praise and thanks in its entirety is for Allah because Allah is Al-Hamid, the only one worthy of praise and gratitude. An interesting thing is, out of the root letters of Hamd, we have names such as Ahmad, which means the most praised, or Mahmud, which means praised, or Muhammad, which means much praised. These are all names of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. And yes, he is praised more than any other human in this world. How should we live by this name? 1. When you achieve something great, praise Allah first, because if it wasn't for Allah, you would not have reached this far. 2. Stop searching for praise. Some people may buy fancy shoes and maybe get fancy clothes just for people to look at them and praise them. They get the latest phones and display it. They display their fancy cars that cause so much attention. Out of all of this, you get a little fame and praise. Imam Sadiq is reported to have said, It is enough disgrace for a person to wear clothes or ride such a beast that draws attention to himself.